Welcome to Staff Works Explained. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. You can watch other videos that you have done on this channel and leave a comment. In this video, we will be talking about the UK Rwanda migrant deal. As we know, this deal has, has now been affected by the ruling of the Supreme Court of UK. We will be looking at how this deal started the challenges that it has been facing, how it has been received in both countries, and how it has been affected by the court rulings. So welcome and let us uh, find these answers together. The UK-Rwanda deal was proposed by the British government in 2022, aiming to deter irregular migration across English Channel. The deal entailed sending asylum seekers arriving in the UK through unauthorized means to Rwanda for processing and potential resettlement. The idea for the deal emerged from the UK government concerns over the rising number of people making journeys across English Channel in small boats. In 2021, a record 28,000 people reached the UK in this manner, and the government sought to curb this trend. The UK government identified several factors that contributed to increase in this irregular migration. And these were conflicts and instability in source countries where many asylum seekers were fleeing conflicts and violence in their home countries seeking refuge in the UK. There's also the trafficking and the smuggling of people where unscrupulous individuals and organizations were exploiting the despoilation of uh, asylum seekers charging them exorbitant fees to arrange their passage across the channel. There's also the perception of the UK as an attractive destination where UK is relatively generous to asylum policies and the economic opportunities available and this has made people to make these journeys sometimes uh, risking their lives. To address these issues, the UK government proposed the Rwanda migrant deal, uh, believing that it would discourage individuals from attempting to cross the channel. And this deal uh, elements included relocation of asylum seekers to Rwanda, uh, where individuals arriving in the UK irregularly would be relocated to Rwanda for processing and potential uh, resettlement. Processing of asylum claims in Rwanda, where Rwandan authorities would assess asylum claims determine whether the individuals met the criteria for refugee status. There's also the option of resettlement where successful uh, asylum seekers would have the opportunity to settle in Rwanda while others would seek asylum in another safe third country. There's also the financial in incentives for Rwanda where the UK government agreed to provide Rwanda with a significant financial package to support the implementation and operation of this program. How was Rwanda identified? Rwanda was identified as a potential partner for the UK-Rwanda deal uh, due to several factors. One is that Rwanda was willing to participate in this uh, exercise, having done so, especially with the uh, migrants who were stuck in Libya. Uh, Rwanda also had the capacity of processing asylum claims and uh, there is also the perceived stability in this country where uh, the country has experienced significant economic growth, there is political stability in the recent year and this make it appear to the UK as a relatively safe and secure country for asylum seekers although this has been disputed by the court and also by other critics. There is also uh, Rwanda geographic location where the country which is in East Africa is considered advantageous for the UK government as it would provide a distance barrier to deter the asylum seekers from attempting to return to Europe. There is also the aspect of uh, Rwanda financial needs where Rwanda which is a developing country needs financial assistance and the UK government was willing to provide substantial financial package and uh, this was a factor that uh, made uh, Rwanda uh, participate in these exercises. So despite these factors, the selection of Rwanda as a partner for this deal was met with considerable criticism, with many questioning uh, human rights record 
and the suitability for hosting asylum seekers. The UK government decision to proceed with the deal, despite these concerns, highlighted its strong commitment to addressing the irregular migration across the English Channel, even if it means pursuing a controversial and ethically questionable approach. What was Rwanda getting out of this? Rwanda was to receive several benefits uh, from the UK Rwanda migrant, including financial assistance, there's enhanced international reputation, diplomatic ties with the UK would improve, there's also demonstration of its cap capability and also potential for economic growth, uh, among other benefits. The UK government presented the deal as a humane and effective solution to irregular migration, claiming to deter uh, these journeys and ensure that asylum claims were processed fairly and efficiently. However, the deal was met with a widespread uh, criticism from various quarters. And some of the concerns that were raised were human rights concerns. Human groups, ra uh, human rights groups raised concerns about the human rights situation in Rwanda, citing allegation of political uh, repression and restriction of freedom of expression. There is also the legal challenges where legal experts questioned the legality of the deal, arguing that it would violate international refugee law and human rights. Uh, convention. There is also the aspect of uh, ethics where critics argued that the deal was unethical, suggesting that it was unfair to send asylum seekers to a country with a different culture and potentially lower standards of living. So despite this criticism, the UK government proceeded with the deal, signing an agreement with the Rwanda uh, in 2022, and the first deposition was scheduled for June 2022, but it was blocked by last-minute injunction from the European Court of Human uh, Rights. Rwanda has been hosting asylum seekers uh, from 2017. In 2017, the Rwandan government made a significant commit commitment to, hold, to host the African migrant who was stranded in North Africa. The decision was driven by uh, various factors. Uh, there was an escalating humanitarian crisis in uh, Libya, where Libya was in the middle of civil war which had spread widely in the country and was leading to uh, displacement. Many African migrants or immigrants who had been hoping to cross the Mediterranean Sea to the Europe found themselves trapped in Libya, where they were subjected to abuse, exploitation, and uh, even torture. And uh, Rwanda came into their rescue. There is also the lack of international response. Uh, in this case, the international community was slow to respond to the human crisis in Libya and there were few options available for the uh, African immigrants who are stranded in this country. With the, its own experience, genocide experience, uh, Rwanda uh, came uh, to help these people who are suffering and uh, also there is the desire uh, to play a pivot role in Africa, positive role in that case. Uh, Kagame, who is the president of Rwanda, uh, is a strong advocate for African unity. And he saw this as, as an opportunity to host African immigrants as a way for Rwanda to make a positive contribution in uh, the continent. In response to this crisis, the Rwandan government announced that it would be willing to take 30,000 African immigrants from Libya. The government also pledged to provide immigrants with shelter, food, medical care, and uh, education. Rwanda government decision to host the African immigrants was met with praise from uh, various quarters, including the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, who called this gesture a beacon of hope for refugees in Africa. The Rwandan government had wa has worked to fulfill its commitment to the African Im immigrants, and the country now has become safe haven for uh, refugees from across the continent. The Rwandan government actions has been placed as a model for other African countries and they have helped to improve Rwanda reputations on the world stage. And this is what perhaps attracted uh, Rwanda to uh, enter into this uh, UK migrant deal. So how was this deal perceived in Rwanda? Rwanda UK migrant deal was met with mixed reactions in Rwanda and also in elsewhere. Some Rwandans supported the deal, viewing it as an opportunity to enhance their international reputation and attract economic investment. They believe that the deal would provide Rwanda with uh, financial resources and expertise to develop its capacity for processing asylum claims and provide support to refugees. Additionally, they hope that the deal will strengthen 
diplomatic ties with uh, UK. However, the others who expressed concerns about the deal, particularly regarding the potential human rights implications for asylum seekers, they raised concerns about the country's human rights record and ability to provide adequate protection and support for asylum seekers. Additionally, they questioned the fairness of sending asylum seekers to a country with a different culture and potentially lower uh, living standards. Frank Habineza, an opposition figure in the Democratic Green Party of Rwanda, said he criticized the attempt by the UK to pass on its obligation on asylum seekers to other countries. He said that he supported refugees who want to come to Rwanda directly, but Rwanda-UK asylum seekers scheme cannot be sustainable according to him. He said that the UK should fulfill its international obligation uh, alone. There were also concerns about the transparency and accountability of the deal. Some Rwandans felt that the government had not adequately consulted with the public or fully disclosed the details of the agreement. Additionally, there were concerns about lack of independent monitoring and oversight mechanism to ensure that the asylum seekers were treated fairly and humanely. Overall, the deal was controversial policy that generated mixed reactions in Rwanda and also elsewhere. While well, some saw it as an opportunity for Rwanda uh, to advance its international standing to attract economic investment, others expressed concern about its potential impact on human rights and lack of transparency and accountability surrounding the deal. Uh, there was a court ruling, uh, most so Supreme Court ruling, which has now uh, put this deal into some confusion. In November 2023, the UK Supreme Court ruled that the Rwandan migrant deal was unlawful, citing concerns about the potential reformment or the return of the refugees to a country where they were at risk of persecution. The court's decision dealt a significant setback to the UK government plans to deter irregular migration. In a major blow to one of the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak key policies, the country's top court ruled that asylum seekers sent to Rwanda would be at real risk of ill treatment because they could be returned to the conflict racked home countries they had uh, fled. Announcing the unanimous decision, President of the Supreme Court said Rwanda has a history of mis uh, misunderstanding its obligation towards refugees and uh, reformment that is sending three months back to the country they had sought protection from. The judges concluded that there is a risk that asylum claims will not be determined properly and that asylum seekers will uh, in the consequence be at risk of being returned directly or indirectly to the country of origin. In that event, uh, the court said that the genuine refugees will face a risk of ill treatment. The case had been previously into High Court and Court of Appeal, which showed that the plan was unlawful because Rwanda is not a safe that country. The government unsuccessfully challenged the decision at the Supreme Court. So there was various response to uh, these courts, one of them by the British government, where it said that it, it still go on with this process. And uh, it said that it will try to send some immigrants on a one-way trip to Rwanda. Uh, despite this court ruling. The UK Prime Minister said that the government would uh, seal a legally binding treaty with Rwanda that would address the court's concern and would then pass a law declaring Rwanda a safe country. The Prime Minister suggested that if legal challenges to the plan continued, he was, preparing, he was prepared to consider leaving International Human Rights Treaty, a move that probably would draw strong opposition and international criticism. Opposition politicians in UK uh, say that refugee and the refugee groups, human rights organizations, they say that the plan is unethical and uh, unworkable. One of the organizations, Charity, Charity Aid UK, said that the Supreme Court ruling was a vindication of the British values of compassion and dignity. Amnesty International said that the uh, government should draw a line uh, under this graceful chapter in the UK political history. The UK government has argued that while Rwanda was 
the site for genocide that killed more than almost 1 million people in 1994, the country has since built a reputation for stability and economic progress. Critics say that stability comes with the cost of political repression. The, cost, the court's judgment noted human rights breaches, including political killings that has led to UK police to warn Rwanda nationals living in Britain of credible plans to kill them on the part of the state. They said that Rwanda had 100% rejection record for asylum seekers for war-torn countries including Syria, Yemen and Afghanistan. The Rwandan government on its side insisted that the country is a safe place for refugees. They said that Rwanda has a welcoming policy and has a good record. Uh, although opposition leaders in uh, Rwanda disagree and they say that uh, British or Britain should not try to offshore its migration obligation to a small African country. The UK, uh, the opposition leader says, should keep the migrants or send them to another European country, not to a poor country like Rwanda. And uh, this opposition figure says that he thinks that it's not right for a country like UK to run away from its obligation. Much of the Europe and the uh, US is struggling on how best to cope with migrants uh, who are seeking refuge from uh, war, violence, repression, and warning, and warming of planet that has led to uh, devastating uh, drought and floods. The, uh, the Rwanda plan has a cost for the British government where it's costing 140 million pounds in payments for Rwanda before even a single plane has taken off. So we'll be looking to see how this deal uh, goes, uh, whether they, it will continue, whether it will continue receiving opposition that it has had uh, with the court ruling, with opposition from uh, UK and also from other international organizations. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, watch other videos that you have done on other topics. Thank you.